Hello everybody and welcome to the What the Food and Nice Hats Strange Food collaboration. Nice Hats Strange Food is a YouTube channel by the hilarious Sam Clark. Essentially, he puts a bunch of different ingredients in some hats, pulls out the ingredients, and then makes whatever is done. We got our location slash region, basically the feel of the dish we're going to go for. We have our proteins, a bunch of different weird ones, and we have our wild cards, basically, you know, making it interesting. The reason that we're doing it this way is to kind of explore our culinary background or how we see food uh, from our first impressions of the region or the place of the dish that we pull to how we approach a new ingredient. I'm super excited because I feel like doing it this way is actually gonna tell a lot about the person who's actually cooking the food. Speaking of which, let's bring in Sam. Hey Sam. What's up Ethan? Thanks for having me on your show. Yeah, pleasure. We are gonna start with the region and the place. Toss a couple with the dough. And we have decided on Greece. Ooh, might be something a little Greek. Okay, that's fun. Now for our protein. Oh, chicken feet. Oh, this is gonna be a hard one. <laughs> and for our wild card. Oh God, I'm scared. I'm legitimately scared. And pork rinds. Okay, okay. What do you think, Sam? Well, Ethan, you know, I'm I'm stumped. That's a pretty strange challenge, and that's saying something coming from me, but you know, I am I am excited to see what I can do. Yeah, this is a weird one. I have no idea what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm gonna run to the store, pick up my ingredients, and uh, <laughs> see if I have any more ideas. When I think of Greek food, the first thing that comes to my mind are gyros. Uh, that's a classic dish that I grew up eating. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to try to do. Of course, it's going to be hard to do with the chicken feet, uh, which I have never cooked with before, but um, I, I will attempt to put chicken feet into euros somehow. And uh, finally, I've, I'm have i not a frequent eater of pork rinds, but I think I have a pretty clever idea of what to do with them. I think I'm going to hold that in my pocket for a second. But I will also head to the store and I will check in uh, in a little bit and kind of see where you're heading and i give you an update on what I'm doing, so. All right. Woo! I just got back in the City Max, which is a European market here in Southeast Portland. Uh, it's amazing. I think I'm gonna do an episode about that later, but only time will tell how that goes. So uh, let's check in with the old Sam Clark. All right, Ethan. I'm back from shopping as well, and the chicken feet honestly are freaking me out a little bit. They they look like uh, literal dinosaur claws, but. Uh, we'll try to figure out how to cook them. I have a couple of different ideas, um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, as I said before, I'm going with gyros. So just to try to make one cohesive dish, I'm going to have the pita bread, which I'm going to make by scratch, and I'm going to crush up the pork rinds and put in the pita dough, and then all the usual stuff you'd have in, in a uh, gyro, tzatziki, feta, tomato, lettuce, all of that good stuff and then just randomly I'll just have the chicken foot stuck in there with uh, some Greek 
seasoning or however I'm cooking it, I'm gonna try to put a Greek sauce on it. Uh, and it's gonna be weird because you're gonna be eating the gyro and you're just gonna have to take the foot out because it has bones in it. But you know what? <laughs> we'll see what, what happens. And I'm excited to see what I do. So let's get cooking. So excited. So this is Ethan Dutcher's chicken feet, spicy pork rind, spinach, and feta spanktopia. Now, obviously it's not actually called spanktopia, uh, because I don't think anybody named food that. But depending on how good it is, I think it's appropriate. The actual name of the dish is a uh, spank, spanak, spanako, what, uh, span, spanak, I'm gonna look it up. S-P-A-N-A-K-O-P-I-T-A. Spanakopita. 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 Okay, so after a good bit of research, and watching an Anthony Bourdain episode, I think I decided to go with either the Spanakopita or classic Euro. It's the most instantly recognizable Greek food. I chose the Spanakopita because it's a little bit different, and I figured that if I take the chicken feet and then kind of take the bones out and then peel it off into just like a chicken scrap almost, something that you can't really recognize as, as chicken feet. I think that was the goal. Now, the question is, how do you incorporate pork rinds into a phyllo dough puff pastry deal? You know, do you just shove it in the center and then kind of let the juices fill it up and that way it kind of soaks it up and kind of works as like a, as a filler? I thought that was a possibility, but also a bit lazy. So what I decided to do was actually put my pork rice through my food mill. Get it into this nice powder. So it went from being like a chip into like almost like a like a seasoning, like a pork like a chili pork seasoning. From there I added oregano, black pepper, and cayenne and red pepper flakes to give it just more of that chili flavor. I then took that pork spice mix and put it in the butter to layer between each of the phyllo doughs. Mwah. After that, I had my mixture of spinach that had been wilted with salt and sugar squeezed out for moisture, and then I added feta, Havarti cheese, sauteed onions and garlic, black peppercorns, lemon zest, and my chicken feet. So I boiled the chicken feet for 30 minutes at a hard boil with a little bit of salt and bay leaf. I then took it out, put it in a water bath with sodium bicarbonate, also known as baking soda, and a little bit of white vinegar. A lot of the resources that I was looking at talked about how the white vinegar and the baking soda help kind of separate the meat and the cartilage from the actual bone. So I went with that method. After putting them in the bath, I let them sit for at least six hours. I just went overnight. And the next morning, I tore them all apart with my hands. Tearing chicken feet apart with your hands is not fun. It is tedious, it is difficult, and I absolutely understand why nobody fucking does it why you just suck it up and then like eat it off the foot as opposed to like taking fucking five minutes for each foot to get like a quarter cup of meat. Anyway, after I got all of those feet taken apart and had my little pile of meat, I then went one more step and fried them. 
That's right, I just fried all that moisture out, all those tendons, all that chewiness, just fried it right out until it was like this pretty crispy, almost like chicken chicharrones. I then cut that up into bigger chunks and then put it with my spinach mix. That way, the spinach mix and the moisture from there is going to reabsorb into something a lot more tender, a lot more flavorful, and honestly, you're not even gonna be able to tell that it is chicken feet, that I did take some of the unfried chicken feet and I just put some of those pieces in there too. I wanted to add a little bit of that fatty, kind of softer texture as well. Honestly, I don't think you're really gonna notice it with all the spinach and the feta inside, but we're gonna see. Each time I put a layer of phyllo dough down, boom, chili pork butter in between each layer. Then I rolled it up in my spinach blunt, topped it with a little bit more butter, and baked it at 350 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. Topped it off with a little bit of our pork rind powder, some spinach, some feta, and I only put the chicken foot on for aesthetics. This doesn't need to be here. There's plenty of chicken foot in this spanked opium. Now, I don't really want to eat that. I tried it plenty yesterday. So I'm gonna go straight for the Spanica, Spanacotopia. Spanacato. I'm gonna go straight for my Spanktopia. All right. Honestly, you really do actually get the texture of the chicken feet. That's really good. That's really good. Mmm. Yeah, that pork comes through a lot. The entire phyllo dough actually tastes like a pork rind. Inside, you can really do get the texture of the chicken feet. I can tell exactly what is the chicken foot and what isn't. But by this point, it's so tender. It's so tender, and we're dealing with so many other textures in the dish that it's almost just like eating like a there's like a shiitake mushroom in there or something. Honestly, it's not like a foreign feel. Especially if you don't know there's chicken feet in already. Wow. Wow, I never would have made this if it wasn't for the Nice Hat Strange Food collaboration. You know, just, just using chicken feet, but then all the other different elements of trying to put it together and make it make sense. Wow, this is really cool. Thanks uh, for reaching out to me, Sam. I had a lot of fun with this collaboration. All right, Sam. How'd it go? I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, I don't have anything in front of me because we actually ate everything. Um, but the the chicken feet were definitely interesting. The the sauce that I used to mar like to marinate and then cook the chicken feet in, it came out with this really strong, beautiful uh, Greek flavoring. A lot of the olive taste came through, which I loved. Um, but uh, again, it didn't really work with the gyros, with, the, with all the bones inside. Um, but the pita bread, the the uh, the pork rind pita bread was fantastic, and I would make that again. Uh, so that, that's all I really like out of these episodes is discovering something, whether that be good or bad. And today I discovered that you can make pita bread with pork rinds, and it tastes amazing. So I call this a success. So thank you for agreeing to do this with me. Thank you for pulling the stuff out of the hats and challenging us both. And I would love to do it again uh, if our viewers are interested and if you're interested. So yeah, definitely go check out Ethan's channel, What the Food, subscribe. I highly recommend it. You won't regret it. All right. We'll see you guys in the next video. Well, fantastic. I'm looking forward to your next episode. I'll talk to you later. Make sure to check out Sam's channel, Strange Food Nice Hats. He comes out with episodes frequently, and I seriously suggest you check it out for your good food-related content. Also, make sure to subscribe and like to our channel if you haven't yet, and I'll see you later.